state and must be dealt with according to Why did the police not arrest Dad? Why have you detained my husband? What are the charges? Don't come back to class! After 25 years, I was fired from my job for being a Baha'i. They tortured him for days, insisting that he recant his faith. The sound threats are increasing. Our lives are in danger. This place was sacred to us. They're coming. There is still no trace of the nine Baha'i leaders who were kidnapped a month ago. They have not even left us a place to bury our dead. They may burn our house, but they cannot destroy our spirit. Must we choose between exile or imprisonment? Must our children suffer the same fate? For the last 30 years, the government has been running an organized campaign to exterminate the Baha'is, and it continues today. No matter how many times we get the highest scores, our application will still be rejected. Once again, the entire leadership has been arrested, and their whereabouts are unknown. The youth were just offering classes to poor kids. How is that anti-state propaganda? If my Baha'i colleagues cannot receive an education, I refuse to have one. stand by while my neighbors are denied basic human rights just because they are Baha'is. These wrongful accusations have to stop. They are innocent citizens of our country. They are our brothers and sisters. We must bear and endure. Have faith, my dear. If we do not speak up on behalf of the Baha'is and break the silence, the government will suffocate them to their very last breath, and we will see horrors we do not wish to see. We cannot let this happen. Members of the Baha'i faith say it's a question of genocide. Yes, what one congressman called a case of religious genocide unique at this moment on this planet. A number of Iran's government leaders belong to a society specifically directed at the extirpation of the Baha'i faith. This fire will burn all the darkness away I will give it all for you My life, I will give it to you All I want is to be close with you
The Baha'i case in Iran is really unique. Um, Baha'is are denied access to higher education simply on the basis of religion. Many of the students in Iran actually aren't able to access higher education for one reason or another, usually related to maybe political activism, but Baha'is, no matter what they've done, just on the basis of their religion, are unable to attend university. And it's, it's an ongoing policy. Once they graduate from high school, there's a highly competitive process in which they write entrance examinations or, or national university entrance examinations. And on these examinations, you had to declare your religion. So of course, if they wrote Baha'i in, in the subject field, that would automatically disqualify them from, from, from writing the examinations. More than a thousand Baha'is every year in the last several years have written this exam. Um, but in the process, they've, after submitting their examination results, uh, when the, the box has been left blank, a number of things have happened. Either they've been denied on technical grounds, uh, an offer to, to university, or uh, they've been identified as, as Muslim, uh, which is particularly problematic because, not only because it's an article of faith for Baha'is not to lie about their religion, but also because if they were to declare themselves as Muslim on their form and it later became apparent they are Baha'is, they could be charged with apostasy, which is punishable by, by, by death under Sharia law. No Baha'i has graduated from university since the revolution. So it's not, a, it's not a secret that that's what the Iranian government is trying to do to the Baha'is. As a Baha'i, we're, we're called to, to pursue knowledge our, our whole lives. And so, uh, so it concerns me when, when students they happen to be of my faith, but students anywhere, if they're denied access to higher education, that's an affront to my religious beliefs. I feel a great deal of, uh, of, of com compassion on the one hand for these, these friends of mine, but also, also outrage that such bright and brilliant people who could provide so much to Iran in the way of service and promoting the development of their country are unable to do so simply because they believe something different from the regime.